And the date, July 7th, 1998, will forever be a special day, especially to many pro-democracy activists in Nigeria's history. It was the day of the death of one of most influential Nigerians, Chief Moshud Kashimao Olawale Abiola, popularly known as MKO Abiola. Plus TV Africa takes us into this sad day and the implications 22 years after. Prior to his active participation, the late MKO Abiola was partially involved in Second Republic politics, where he joined the National Party of Nigeria. After these parties went moribund, Moshud Abiola was not just the richest man in Nigeria, he was regarded as one of the most influential and richest Africans. By the end of March 1993, when the then military leader Ibrahim Babangida formed two parties, the Social Democratic Party and the Nigerian Republican Convention, Abiola was chosen by the SDP as their candidate. The NRC chose Bashir Tofa, and the elections were scheduled for June 12, 1993. The results clearly showed Abiola to be the winner. Nigerians supporting Abiola demanded that power be turned over to him as the rightful winner of the original election. That election was considered by many to have been the cleanest in Nigeria's history, and it finally seemed like the change that Nigerians across the country yearned for was finally coming. But with a shocking change of events, which included the annulment of the elections, which was then followed by Biola declaring himself winner, he was then arrested and detained on treason charges until his eventual death on the 7th of July, 1998, five years after, leaving behind questions concerning his death. An official autopsy declared it as a heart attack, but the circumstances leading to his death left many questions in the heart of Nigerians. 22 years after, we just cannot forget MKO. July 7 marks the 22nd anniversary of the elimination of Chief MK Abiola, the man popularly elected by Nigerians as president on June 12, 1993. Abiola was eliminated after spending over four years in incarceration just because of his blunt refusal to compromise his principal belief that a mandate freely and enthusiastically given by over 14 million Nigerians cannot be overturned by military fiat. The late MKO uh, Abiola of blessed memory. Um, died almost exactly 22 years ago. Um, he was killed by the military junta. Nigeria's current president, Muhammad Buhari, in a move to celebrate MKO and the significance of his life and death, declared June 12 as Democracy Day in Nigeria. He also conferred the honor GCFR on him and renamed the national stadium after him. We demand the entrenchment of the true spirit of June 12, which is free, fair, and credible election. That is the best way to immortalize MKO Abiola. MKO Abiola lives forever. Today, I really don't feel um, the vacuum he left behind, his absence as British has been met by the democracy we are running now, yet. But, I see the present government try so hard to, to replicate some of the things that Abiola said they wanted to be to Nigeria. I see this present government trying to replicate it. There have been numerous reactions to how different Nigeria would have been if Abiola had been allowed to claim victory in the 1993 elections. Today, we look back 22 years later to review the legacy of MKO Abiola, our journey since his passing, and a delayed return to democratic rule, which eventually happened in 1999. Osaogi Ogbonwa, reporting for PLOS TV Africa.